to the Fish Hog channel. My name is Mitch. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about steelhead fishing on the river. You know, if, if you're a beginner and you're looking to head out, you're probably a little bit unsure of what you can be bringing with you. So hopefully I can cover that for you today and give you a bit of an idea of what you can be bringing with you to figure these fish out. And it's not limited to just what I'm going to show you today. There's endless options out there. But hopefully I can dial it down a little bit for you and get you hooked into your first fish. So the first thing I'm going to suggest you bring with you is a MEP spinner. Um, these have been around for a long time. I'm pretty sure I caught my first trout on a MEPS. And I like to stick to just the basic gold and silver color and uh, a size 2 or size 3. Uh, there's lots of different colors you can choose from. Another one I like to use is this Black Fury. This one has a bit of a tail on it and a bright orange bead. So I'd be using this in a bit more murky water. And it shows up really well and gives something extra for the fish to key in on. So definitely have a few spinners when you head out next time and give those a try. They're really easy to use. All that I do with those is I cast them straight upstream and I'll reel down towards me. And the fish are going to see that coming towards them and smack it. So definitely bring some spinners with you. I like to bring some small spoons with me. So these are just little Cleos. And I like to stick to the more natural bait fish colors. So green and silver, blue and silver, or all silver works really well. Another one I like to use is a Len Thompson. And these work really well off the pier. Uh, really popular up Georgian Bay Way. This is the brass and orange color I find works best. So definitely bring a few small spoons with you and give those a try. And that's going to attract those bigger, more aggressive fish as well. Another lure I'd be bringing with me is a flatfish. They're awesome, really easy to use. You just cast them out there, hold it into the current, and it's going to dig down for you. And it's just going to wobble back and forth like this. And uh, if you can hear that, it's got a little bit of a rattle in it and really attracts the fish and they will smack this. So definitely give one of these a try. So as far as lure goes, I, I would bring a few of those lures that I just went over. Also, you'll see a lot of guys using roe out there, and if you don't have access to real uh, steelhead or salmon eggs, that's fine. You can use beads. So I use hard beads generally in, in more murky water because hard beads, they got a lot more color options out there, a lot more brighter colors. So I'll use the bright oranges, chartreuse, pink, and even white. But for the main part, if the water is more clear, the fish are pressured, I'll go with a more single egg. Um, these ones are just soft beads. Green is really good in clear water, by the way. And also I like to use these Trigger X egg clusters. And I won't throw a full egg cluster on. I like these because they're scented. And normally, if I want to downsize my presentation, I'll just peel off one or two eggs like so and put that on my hook and it's a real nice subtle presentation and some days that's going to be the ticket to to get that strike so definitely have some soft beads and hard beads with you also I like to bring with me some bubblegum pink worms and these are killer out on the Great Lakes really popular I've seen lots of fish taken with the pink worm when nothing else is working uh, something about that pink they, they go crazy for it so definitely have a few of those with you as well and lastly, I'm going to talk about a few flies that I bring with me. And you don't need a fly rod. You can drift these under a float or bottom bounce with these. Pull it along in the water. And a popular color is the pink and purple. Also, I like to bring white with me as well. It's also a good one. White woolly bugger. And lastly, I like to bring with me some black stone flies. So this is just a stone fly nymph. You can run these under a float or bottom bounce these. The trout feed on these all year, so early on in the season when the water's really cold and the trout aren't uh, as active, don't like to move much for things, I'd be throwing on one of these. And uh, yeah, they feed on them all year, so that's what they're searching for. And this might be the tick to get a strike that day. So I hope this video helped you out. If you learned something new, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. I really appreciate your guys' support. So leave some feedback down below for me. I really appreciate that as well or suggestions on other videos, topics. So yeah, we'll see you on the next video and good luck out there.